Akash Shinshi, your favorite reflection of you. Just about to head over to yoga class, and as I was doing so and getting all ready and stuff, I was like, you know what? Let me put a video out, put a vi pull a video together, and and come over, go go back over a concept that I may not have seen or or thought about or applied maybe over the past twenty four hours. So what are we gonna do? Speak into others what you want to be spoken, what you want out of them. What do I mean by this? Or what is meant by this quote? When we communicate to the outside world or when we communicate outwards, we're sending energy out. And so it's, it's really, really, really important to understand that our words have energy behind them and, and this energy manifests. So when we speak into others what we want to see uh, or, or want to experience from them, um, an example of this is if I, if I look at someone and let's say they just broke my brand new 52 inch flat screen TV and first thing I could get super angry with them. I could be like, are you fucking kidding me? I just got this TV. I can't believe you did this. Blah, 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 blah. Boom. Uh, it's all your fault. You meant to do this. And perhaps it was an accident. All these things, obviously you send that communication outwards and people or that, that person who, who may have done it and it was an accident, they'll start to get defensive because that's just what human nature is. If someone starts attacking you, you're not going to just take it. You're going to get defensive. That's that's how pe most people operate. Whereas on the other hand, if that e exact same experience happens and, and then you start talking to the person, you're like, you know what? I'm just, more than anything, I'm glad that you didn't get hurt. I'm glad that nothing, I know it was, I know it was a complete accident. I know nothing, like, it, it wasn't like you were trying to do this. And you start talking to them and you were like, you know what, don't even worry about it. It's, it's, this is just like a thing. It's, it's all about the relationship, us hanging out, having fun, blah, 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 blah. That person is going to appreciate and, 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 and it's going to be strengthening the bond between the two, the two of you. Because here's some external event that happens. Um, obviously, I mean, you're still out flat screen TV, so let's, let's not put that beside the point, but... The larger point being that when you speak into someone in a way of I'm appreciative of you, I'm, I'm, uh, I value you, I, you see the good in others, it starts to come out and over time continually doing this, it's just that, that this is the ter person, this is the person that um, will evolve and, 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 and how they'll be. So it's, it's so, so important to be, become more aware of what are we speaking into others? Are we speaking into others really negative, uh, negative energy, like bad energy, bad vibes? Or are we speaking into others positive energy? Are we speaking into others um, positivity? And, and that's not to say to just be only positive about things because there's an importance for, for realness. There's importance for truth. But it's the way that you do it. In other words... In that exact same experience as I was talking about this whole flat screen TV scenario, let's say the person was a little clumsy. I'm first things first. I'm like, all right, this person's not hurt. That's the most important thing to me is that this person's not hurt. To me, that this person is, uh, doesn't feel, uh, like guilty or anything like that. I don't want them to be like guilty. No one wants to be guilty. No one wants to feel shame. I don't want them to feel these things we'll find a way to make it up and, 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 and so on and so forth. But it's, I, at, at some point in, in the communication with them, it would be, it'd be something along the lines of it's, you know what? I'm so glad that um, you didn't get hurt. And yeah, even though it was an accident and we could probably be a little bit more careful next time. Right. I mean, it was a little, we, we could be a little bit more careful. Right. And maybe make some type of like joke or something like this. It's getting the same point across of like, just be more careful and, 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 and so on and so forth. Or don't be, I'm not saying don't be clumsy, but just be more aware. With this in mind, with this type of communication, it raises the standard. It, it doesn't put others down and it's still truthful. It's still, okay, here's where you can improve. Maybe not 100% the best example, but the idea remains the same. Speak into others what what we want to see over time as we continue to speak and put these little words um and they're not little words necessarily but as we put these words these conversations these communications outwards to people they start to get a sense and a feeling within themselves and 
and that's in a world that's so negative and so looking to cut you down in a world like that communications like this are just incredible they make you feel better they maybe clear your mind they allow you to breathe deeper they make you feel easier in terms of what you need to do next and how to go about your day and so what's better than this keep up thrive and stay sexy